What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. I hope you had a great weekend, but if you had to take a test for a virus, I hope you have tested negative. It is time now for the Monday edition of the Virus Update for Monday, September 22nd, 2025. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. There's a lot of viruses out there, but not enough news coverage. That's where I come into play to give you the latest news, data, wastewater, anything I can find on these viruses to help keep you safe and informed for what's going on. Want to stay informed? Just subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And leave your comments down below. Already, we do have several news stories to take a look at today, including the BNO News Weekly COVID update and some other stuff. And, of course, we're going to take a look at some wastewater spots and brand new wastewater data just in from my state of Pennsylvania. I'll tell you which direction we're headed. Surprise or spoiler alert, it's not in a good direction. Alrighty, uh, take a look at this. Uh, BNO News Weekly U.S. COVID update new cases. 145,186, uh, similar to last week. I don't think that went up anymore. Hospital emissions started going down a little bit, actually down by 7%. 10,163 in the hospital, 8,121. That's up by 3%. In the ICU, 1,060 people at this time. That's up by 2% still. So with that being up, uh, deaths will either stay the same next week or go a little higher. And this week's deaths are... 444. The average did go up by 16% to 357. So deaths are still going up at the moment for this wave. COVID cases remain elevated across the U.S., but appear to have peaked. In most states, emergency department visits are highest in young children and adults 65 and older. And I would add that they say the words most states. There are a few states that are exceptions to the rule. Uh, New York, Pennsylvania, Michigan, may, maybe Michigan, uh, Minnesota, it may be an exception to the rule. So far this year, more than 4.3 million COVID cases have been reported in the U.S., causing 301,585 uh, 585 hospitalizations. Yeah, that's a lot. Again, 301,585 hospitalizations and 18,717 deaths. And with those deaths going up, the way they are, we will quickly pass 20,000 deaths on the year, and someone's probably getting ready to say, well, we had X number of flu deaths this year. Yeah, the year's not over yet. It's still September, and uh, right now we're starting to see elevated COVID deaths in the United States. All right, take a look at this. Minnesota now joins the ranks of high SARS-CoV-2 transmission, according to the CDC. This is coming from Mike Horger. This occurs just weeks after Minnesota State Fair, which one of his uh, colleagues from there refers to as Minnesota Mardi Gras. Yeah, it would be a super spreader. Events like that at this time of year, whether they're indoor or outdoor, do cause cases to rise, do cause wastewater levels to go upward. It's a known fact that, yes, it spreads more indoors, but outdoor transmission, it can also happen. All right, moving on now to France. France, three straight weeks of rising COVID infections. Emergency visits for COVID spiked in late August, up 20% in under 15 and 12% in ages uh, 15 to 74. And it looks like uh, Western France is one of the most affected area at this time. And emergency department visits, yeah, they're starting to trend upward at this time. Uh, someone asked me, I believe it was about Ireland. I was looking, was not seeing anything. There is one more place I could look. Uh, maybe we can get some wastewater data from Ireland. Last we saw for Ireland, I believe Ireland was also following what's happening in Europe, which is an upward trend. So hopefully we can get something for Ireland relatively soon. Uh, here's a global picture from Mike Honey on the latest variant. And believe it or not, Nimbus, NB.1.8.1 variant remained dominant, growing to 59%. XFG, Stratus, fell slightly to 35%. By the way, XFG is the dominating variant here in the United States. And B.1.8.1 did dominate for a little while. Then XFG just took it right over on a global picture. That's not the case. All right, in Western Australia, new measles cases bring the state total now to 38. So, 
yes, they do now have uh, 38 cases of measles to report in Western Australia. Some notes on West Nile virus. West Nile virus has been confirmed in a horse in the Nebraska Panhandle. Yikes, that is not good whatsoever. Uh, West Nile virus, we've been watching it spread here in the United States this year. Uh, as you know, any standing water can create mosquitoes, and well, mosquitoes can lead to cases of West Nile virus. Now to Massachusetts, we go to Worcester County, where, you guessed it, two more cases of West Nile virus have been reported in that area of uh, Massachusetts, so that is not a good thing whatsoever. Like I said, uh, it's been a problem this year. We're going to be coming into the colder months pretty soon, so hopefully it'll slow down. May continue in the south, though. It does tend to stay warm there well into fall. Hey, by the way, today is the first day of fall. Happy fall. Welcome to fall. Are the leaves starting to change in your area? They will be in the coming weeks in many different places here in the United States. Let me know down below. Are you starting to see changing colors to your leaves yet? All right, datareport.info. That is my website. We do have a whole bunch of tracking threads there. It's been very busy in these tracking threads as of lately, and I'm really surprised. You guys either have been spreading the website, or I don't know, maybe it's robots. I don't know, but the tracking threads have been really starting to get viewed a lot over the last week or two. Maybe people are starting to finally wake up and realize, huh, what's this? Wow, look at this tracking thread that this data report site did. There's a lot of people sick. There's a lot of cases of measles. There's a lot of performers canceling shows. Have you seen this? you got to go check that out. Yeah, it's a thing. You click on one of these threads, and each post usually will link you to a new story of something that is going on. All right, Canada. The wastewater viral activity level for COVID is moderate. Flu A is low. Flu B is low. RSV is also coming in at low at this time. All right, let's take a look at what's going on with the migration of birds, shall we? How many birds migrated in the last 24 hours? What was the peak last night? And as you know, birds migrating generates potential cases of bird flu. And last night, there were over 200 million birds that migrated from the north to the south. I don't know if we've passed peak for the bird migration yet, but uh, at some points we were at four or 500 million birds last week. Did not get there last night. All right. Moving on now to this. Let's take a look at the air qualities in the United States while we wait for that to load. Let's pause and take a hydration break, shall we? All right, take a look at this. You do see a lot of yellow and orange in the east. You do see some yellow in the, in the west and northwest. You also still see some maroon and purple. But you know what? Things have gotten better. So while there's still some poor air qualities and maybe even a few very poor air quality spots, Things are improving when it comes to this air quality map. It's going to take some more time to do so, though. And, of course, some of these yellows and oranges, they may stay put for some time. All right, taking a look at Pinellas County, Florida, we still see here that uh, we have uh, several calls, uh, some of them being sick person calls, pretty much their normal routine afternoon call volume. We're not seeing where it's like a huge, huge list like we are seeing back in summertime, and the majority of those calls we were seeing were sick person. Philadelphia, 795 EMS incidents reported on Saturday. We did not get to that yesterday because it didn't come in until late in the day. Uh, Sunday, they reported 714 EMS incidents. Taking a look at what's going on just outside of Philadelphia, yet again today, and we've been seeing this a lot lately, uh, cardiac emergency calls have been increasing lately. And someone told me about multiple different areas in the United States, not Southeast Pennsylvania, where uh, cardiac emergency calls have been going up, or cardiac emergency patients and heart attacks have been increasing at the same time as COVID's been going up. I thought that was relatively interesting to share, and some countries have reported that occurring during COVID waves. Uh, taking a look at what's going on in Chester County, Pennsylvania, and we do see yeah a couple sick person calls, a couple respiratory difficulty calls. Why? Well, Pennsylvania is still dealing with a problem. Let's take a look at that. Uh, Pennsylvania, last week, if you were following my channel, did drop a little bit. But then, in between then and now, yes, our level went up a bit once again. So we're still listed moderate here in Pennsylvania. And take a look at this. State College, Pennsylvania, did come back. And State College, Pennsylvania, right now, is listed at high, very uh, long lags in between reporting times. I hope they do 
several updates here in the coming weeks because it is football season. They had a bye week up there this weekend. Big game coming uh, next weekend. And yes, ESPN College Game Day is going there. So there's going to be well north of 100. No, there may even be 150,000 people just with game day coming. That just adds to the insanity. You'll get a lot of people that won't even go into the game. It's totally crazy. Taking a look at this Pennsylvania hospital situation. Hey, better than last Monday. We will take that. Matter of fact, let's refresh just to make sure that is up. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the hospital situation today is better than last Monday here in Pennsylvania. Taking a look at what's going on in New Jersey, we do see Inspire Medical Center Mannington, specialty issue, Inspire Medical Center Molka Hill, psychiatric issue. That psychiatric uh, issue is causing a psychiatric divert for four hours. Those are the only two hospitals with problems in New Jersey. New York State continues to have a problem. Cases now, you see this trend line dropped a little bit. 802 new positive tests. I believe that is slightly higher than last Monday's positive test. So that's not good. And as you can see here, hospitalizations do continue to rise in New York State, which obviously that is not something we like to see whatsoever. All right, let's take a look at Michigan. I promised I would take a look at this. And you can see here, Michigan wastewater is being reported as very low. But you also do see some gray here. What does gray mean? Well, anytime we see a wastewater site that is in gray, that means there is no data available. And you do see, there's Detroit right there. Well, that's a populated area where we are not seeing data from at the moment. So this very low number, I am not really buying that much so ever. If all the wastewater sites were turned on, we might see a different outcome. There's another state that's doing that. I've showed you this before. I'll show it to you again. You look at New York State. This really bothers me that we're in such a blackout of the day. Look at this. If we had the real, you know, all these reporting sites, would it really still be at moderate levels? It may actually be at high levels. I don't know that it would be at very high, but at minimum, I think it probably would be higher because some of these areas are seeing increases for hospitalizations at this time where there is a blackout for the data. Hey, let's take a look at New Hampshire. Haven't done that in a while. And yet again, you see here, we are, it, it's coming in at low, but we're in this data blackout, and, you know, I may even put that in today's title. I'm just so fed up with the blackout of data, uh, so many sites being offline. And then, of course, you go to a state like uh, Mississippi. Well, yeah, we do have one wastewater site that's not updating, but you only have four wastewater sites in the whole state. That's ridiculous. There needs to be more wastewater sites there. And we do see that uh, your wastewater level is low at this time. Uh, would it still be low if we had more wastewater sites there? I don't know because the South got hit pretty hard and they're still on that downward trend at this time. Let's see what's going on in Illinois, shall we? Now here, the majority of the wastewater sites are updating, at least the ones we see. Yes, there are some gray ones, but Chicago area, and we can zoom into Chicago area, there are some moderate to even a few high sites. And then there's also uh, some low sites as well. The majority is, uh, I would say, moderate to near high at this time. And when we take a look at wastewater overall, we do see that Illinois was dropping on the most recent update. So that is good to report. Now let's go out to the West Coast, shall we? And let's see, where do we want to go on the West Coast? We did Washington, Oregon the other day. How about we take a look at what is going on in Alaska? We'll go way Northwest. And we will see here, actually that's Alabama. By the way, Alabama is still listed at very high at this time. Good thing is Alabama is starting to trend downward. Here's Alaska. And we can see in Alaska that uh, things are listed at high at this time. And we can see they have done a lot of up and downs. They've hit very high. One, two, three, four times they hit very high. So that is relatively concerning. Now let's add in some other viruses, shall we? We'll just randomly click on some wastewater sites on wastewater scan. First off, COVID is still high nationally here. Yeah, you can see here. That's not good, but I can show you this. Nationwide, COVID is dropping. RSV is still low. Influenza A is still low. Influenza B is low. HMPV is low. EVD68, low but going up slightly. And norovirus is still low, but that is trending up slightly. Let's go down to Florida, shall we? How about we come down to Miami? Haven't looked at Miami in a while, and let's see what's going on there. We do see COVID is still high. Uh, RSV is low, but you can see it has trended upward slightly 
and norovirus is listed at medium at this time, and there are some detections of hepatitis A at this time. How about we go to North Miami as well? You can see COVID here. Still listed high, but hasn't really dropped all that much. RSV is low, but has gone up slightly. Influenza A, starting to see this increase a little bit. The southern portion of the U.S., the southeast U.S., is typically where we see uh, influenza A start to go up. We also see norovirus is starting to go up here as well. So you have multiple viruses uh, that you should be paying attention to if you live in this area. Let's go a little bit further to the northwest. Let's check on New Orleans, shall we? Another pretty big city. And we do see COVID was dropping. That drop has slowed a little bit. This is the eastern portion of New Orleans. Uh, norovirus went up but that has slowed off a little bit. Also a detection of Mpox back in August, and we might as well look at the other wastewater site in New Orleans and see what's going on there. That has dropped a bit for COVID, still listed high at this time. Norovirus is listed at low, and everything else is fine at this time. Making our way out to the West Coast now, let's see what is going on. How about we go up to San Francisco, and I still see Oceanside listed high for COVID, and yeah, that is being very stubborn. It's slowly coming down, but you're hitting a few bumps along the way. That's not doing you any favors. And we come down here to see Norvars is starting to trend upward, though still listed low at this time. Let's go over to the Midwest. Then we'll make a stop in the Northeast, and that will be it for today. In the Midwest, how about we take a look at what's going on in Youngstown, Ohio. And we see Youngstown, Ohio is listed high at this time for covid and norovirus is now listed in the medium. Let's go up to Portland, Maine, shall we? Have not looked at that wastewater site in a while. And we see that Portland, Maine has been gradually trending higher for a COVID. And look at this. We do see a sudden jump now for influenza A. So influenza A is starting to make its rounds in the Portland, Maine area. That is not good whatsoever. We also see hepatitis A is still an issue there. And since we're looking at influenza A there, and we saw it in Florida, uh, real quick, how about Dover, New Hampshire? Are they also seeing the influenza A issues start to pop up? Uh, they had a little increase, but then that dropped. Wow, their COVID levels are doing really bad there. Uh, norovirus is medium there, but I want to go real quick back to Anchorage, Alaska, because that's a place we've been following. If you've been watching my videos, you know that Anchorage, Alaska has been doing with dealing with an unusual influenza problem. First off, COVID is still high. Influenza A is listed at medium, but it has come down. But if you notice in the last a few updates here, almost a little bit of an upward motion once again. We're going to have to keep our eyes on that. So influenza A starting to make a presence now in some of the wastewater sites. Hey, we have started the first day of fall, and that's something we're going to have to keep an eye on going forward. RSV will enter the picture pretty soon. Yeah, pretty soon it's going to be multiple virus time where multiple viruses are making their rounds at once. And we all know that the holidays had one peak last winter, and then there was that double peaking, which was absolute insanity, late January into February. So we got a long uh, cold season ahead. Summer's over. Fall's coming. Colder weather's coming. These other viruses will now enter the picture. Alrighty, folks, if you enjoyed today's update, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and of course, leave your comments down below. I will see everyone again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe everyone, and have a fantastic Monday afternoon. Thanks for watching.